to Mediterranean Entertainment today. I'm your host, Nikki, and this is our roving reporter, Myrna, and I'm excited to hear what Myrna has to tell us today. That's right, Nikki. Earlier today, we followed a report about a new band, and so we went to Philippi to check it out. You'll never guess who these guys are. Let's see, the Jonas Brothers, the Jackson Five, Elmo and the Tickles? Nope, nope, and nope. But I bet you'll remember Paul, formerly known as Saul. He was the subject of our feature stories, Damascus Basket Boy and Jumpin' in Jerusalem. He's been making quite a splash around the Mediterranean. <laughs> Little joke. <laughs> but recently, Paul has been traveling with his friend Silas, and their gigs have been causing riots. Well, Myrna, tell us. I mean, this sounds so amazing to me. They must have such a connection to their audience. Uh, do you know what that connection is, or um, what's going on? Well, some people think they're amazing, and some people just really dislike them. And their gig? They tell everyone about Jesus. Well, who is their lead singer, and um, how did they end up in Philippi anyway? People say God sent Paul a dream to tell him to come here. Paul and Silas have been telling people that God loves them and that he sent his son, Jesus, so they could be forgiven and have a new life. It drives people wild. Well, it turns out that Paul prayed and freed a slave girl from an evil spirit, but that made the slave owners angry. They've been making a fortune off her fortune telling. <laughs> Little joke. So the owners started an, another riot. In all the mess, Paul and Silas had, were beaten and thrown into jail without a trial. Well, that certainly wasn't fair when they did nothing wrong. I mean, what happened then? Well, these two aren't your average band. They were put into stocks and locked in the deepest, darkest dungeon. And that's when their st singing started. Well, wait a minute. So what did they have to sing about? I mean, here they were, beaten up, tied up, locked up in jail, and they were singing? Well, it turns out they were singing songs of praise to God. They were full of hope. Even though they couldn't see Jesus, they knew he was with them. They were rejoicing. It sounds wild, <clears throat> but I got lots of ear witness reports. After all, they did have a captive audience. <laughs> Little joke. <laughs> well, they did have a captive audience, and I heard that they nearly brought the house down. I guess you could say that. <laughs> you made a little joke for once. <laughs> Around midnight, a huge earthquake shook apart the whole jail. Every prisoner's chains were broken. Everyone was free. What? Oh boy, but what about the poor jailer? I've heard that if you're a jailer and you let the prisoners escape, Wow, you're done for. So did they all escape and what happened? Amazingly, no. Paul hollered out, we are all here, don't harm yourself. Then he and Silas told the jailer about Jesus. The jailer was so interested that he brought them home and now he and his whole family are followers of Jesus. Oh, so, I mean, what happened to Paul and Silas now? Do you know where they're gonna be singing next or what's, what's going on? Nikki, they left before I could get an interview, and no one knew where they'd gone, but they've been taking their songs of hope in Jesus all over the world. So I bet they'll making it, be making a splash somewhere soon, and I, we'll be there to tell you all about it. Well, thanks, Myrna. That was a really fabulous report. I'm sure that all our listeners would love to hear more about Paul and Silas, if you hear anything else, and this new band of praise team they're doing. Oh, I can't wait to hear them. Well, good night, everyone. This is your host, Nikki, and we are finished today. And this is Mediterranean Entertainment Today. Thank you. Good, good day.